Hey, Joe and Ryan here with Airship Syndicate, and uh, I already f***ed up. <laughs> Laugh all you want, it's okay. Just don't make any noise. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Joe and Ryan with Airship Syndicate, and uh, we are getting ready for our early access, which is about to launch, so uh, pretty exciting times at Airship. Yeah, we've had a bunch of great betas already, we've gotten good feedback from fans, from content creators, taken it to the shop, made a bunch of changes to the game, but now the real fun begins because we get everybody's input. And now it's your turn to hop in, play the game, talk to us, and, and help us get this game ready for the big time. We've been building this game alongside the community in a lot of different ways. The biggest and the most interactive way is through our Discord, which even in just a short couple of months, we've already grown past 10,000 members, which is insane. And just the amount of talent where people are making GIFs and stickers and the fan, fan art, great. even characters that weren't even released yet. Yeah, the community feedback from the playtests has been great. Uh, they've led to a lot of just like balance tweaking with like how gunplay works and movement speed and things like that. And we put in air dashing based on, I think it was a bug that people just liked, so we made it real. What early access means for Wayfinder is, you know, it gives us a chance to let people in early so that we can start to understand what parts of our game are exciting to them and what they'd like to see more of. And it can really help us shape the experience before we go free to play and wide to everybody. A live service game is pretty new for us and so we're learning how to do that at the same time we're getting all this feedback and it's actually been a really refreshing experience to finally understand you know in real time what's working and what isn't and then we could be a lot more like productive and proactive about making the game better which as game makers is awesome for us we're taking a page from the de playbook free to play as in free and fair all characters, all weapons can be acquirable through crafting. You could play all the quests without having been gated behind a paywall. By not including any loot boxes, not including any gotcha, if you want to have any component of the game affect your character, that is completely available to every single player across the board. Doesn't matter if they're a paid player or if they just want to jump in, try it out and, and experience the game for free. Venomous is our newest Wayfinder. She is a spy and an assassin from this place called The Maze. She uses these augments and technological advancements to make herself more powerful. Usually when we start out designing Wayfinders, uh, we, we sit down and take a look at, you know, the concept for the character. Venomous's role in a party is supposed to be more of a support role. She's also a ranged Wayfinder, so she'll be supporting her team using heals and also ranged damage. But then she also has poisons that she uses. So Venomous is really good at applying damage over time consistently. Because of her passive, she is able to deal damage even if she's not actively engaging an enemy with her dot. She uses poisons to to weaken her enemies, basically to, to hurt them slowly, and she kind of gets a kick out of that. She likes watching them suffer a bit as she toys with them. Venomous's signature weapon is called Nightshade. It's uh, our first burst fire rifle weapon in the game. We're starting to have some more diversity with weapon types. Venomous is probably the most versatile Wayfinder we've yet created in that she's very good with both ranged weapons and melee weapons. When she's playing with melee weapons, she has the ability to apply poison to many more enemies at a way faster rate. So there's advantages there, but at the same time, you don't get the safety that you do with rifles. So what makes the Reward Tower unique is that it's more than just a linear progression of rewards that you unlock. It's a bit of an adventure game of its own. So we're presenting it like a little isometric dungeon. And as you earn keys, you're gonna be able to hit switches, solve little puzzles, get little bonus rewards. One great thing that our reward tower lets you do is when you purchase it, it stays with your account. It'll always be there for you when you come back. Since the start, we've talked about building this game alongside the community, and our Founders Packs are our first step toward doing that. Today, we are excited to announce that the base Founders Pack not only gives you access to the game, but also to Founders Season 1's full reward tower, including the brand new Wayfinder, Venomous. We'll also have upgrades available in the Initiate and the Awaken Pack that not only give you access to the game in Founders Season 1, but also Founders Season 2. Other things such as Wayfinder tokens to unlock current or future Wayfinders, pets, mounts, skins, housing decorations, and so much more. 
The Exalted Pack is for our most dedicated supporter. It contains a permanent account-based progression boost for the currently active reward tower, as well as a heroic version of a fan favorite, Kairos. This will never be sold again and is only available in this pack. I think it's going to be a really exciting time for all of us as we carve the way through to what Wayfinder is going to become for everyone. So for the rest of the year, we can look forward to uh, two early access seasons, and we'll be adding new Lost Zones, which will come with new creatures, uh, new hunts, uh, new group content. There'll be new Wayfinders, new weapons, new progression systems, including Awakening and Radiance levels. And there'll be uh, new traversal methods too, including mounts and a hook shot. So for free to play, one of the biggest features we're gonna be adding is neighborhoods for player housing, which I'm really excited about because it's really gonna bring the community together and take the social element of the game to another level. We hope you guys enjoyed that deeper look into Wayfinder and the game that we're bringing you guys for early access. The team here, still relatively small, especially for a game this ambitious. They put a lot of work, uh, a lot of themselves into this thing, a lot of passion. Now we're ready for you guys uh, to help us build our dream game. Yeah, so join our community at playwayfinder.com. See you guys in early access. Thank you. Thank you.